Hey, it's Eve. It is the 12th of March today. I hope we're all doing well. In today's video, we're going to be reviewing Coastal Grooves by Blood Orange. Now, for those unfamiliar, Blood Orange is the stage name for Dev, Dev Hines. Um, he was a, used to be used to release music under the name of Lightspeed Champion. Um, and Lightspeed Champion, I actually really liked. He had two very excellent albums called like Falling Off the Lavender Bridge and Life is Sweet, Nice to Meet You. Um, two really good, like he was, a, he was a solo artist basically. And it was quite like, you know, folky, but quite orchestral. Um, he collaborated with Emmy the Great, which I love Emmy the Great, you know, like really, really good albums. Before um, Lightspeed Champion, Dev Hines used to be in a band called Test Icicles, who had an album called Screening Purposes Only, which I really enjoyed as well when that came out. You could say I'm kind of like a, a Dev Hines fan, but I haven't actually listened to any Blood Orange. I don't know why. I think, again, that thing happened where, you know, a lot of the stuff you listen to as a teenager, you kind of like grow out a bit a little bit and you move on. Um, and it, it just occurred to me I hadn't listened to any Blood Orange. He has released quite a few albums under the Blood Orange stage name. So I went with the first one, which is the one we're talking about today. And I guess in a little way, I've kind of got to compare it to Lightspeed because I enjoyed Lightspeed Champions so much. I kind of having to compare it a little bit. It's important to notice that they're not they're not really the same thing at all. They're quite different stylistically and we'll get into that what like right now. So right off the bat I want to say that Dev Hines is a very criminally underrated songwriter. Um, he's a fantastic singer. He's just a very talented guy. If you haven't checked him out on his many stage names and bands then you should because he's excellent. He's British but he's based in New York I think nowadays. I looked on online <laughs> and that's what he said so there you go. I've listened to this album a couple of times um, and I think the first thing that struck me is a really interesting in in instrumentalization. Instrumentalization, that's a word. <laughs> Instrumental, I can't even say it. He uses lots of interesting instruments on this album, okay? But it's very sparse. It's very sort of like chilled and sort of like sparse and there's not a lot going on. But it's, it's minimalist, that's the word I'm looking for, I think. It's got a very atmospheric sort of production, um, which I really like, and it really works on the album's favour. The title, like, Coastal Grooves, like, my first thought was, like, driving down the road. It gave me, like, GTA Vice City vibes, right? Which isn't a bad thing. Like, very 80s sort of, like, synth vibes. There isn't an awful lot of 80s synth on this album, generally speaking, but it does have that sort of similar thing going on. A lot of very sort of, like, sparse, like, guitar riffs. Um, and Dev's quite a talented guitar player as well, which is noticeable on this album too. His voice is really good. Like he's got a really like facetory sort of like voice he has for this album, which he doesn't really do on Lightspeed's albums really at all. Um, and it really kind of works as well again with the vibe that's going on with the album. My favourite track on this album is Scored. It's very, very, very summery and yeah, very, very enjoyable. All of that being said though, I'm not sure I, I love this album, if I'm honest. I don't hate it, but I'm not sure I would listen to it again, right? So here's the thing. This is a 40 minute long album and I felt like I was watching the track listing. <laughs> I was like, this is not ending. It's like, it feels quite repetitive. It's like the same thing going on a lot of the time. And there's not really any kind of like, there's no kind of like big choruses or breaks or anything. It just seems like constant sort of flow of music, which for a lot of people is fine. And in a lot of circumstances, it's absolutely fine for what it is. But that isn't, I don't think, his strength. I think he's a good songwriter. I think he's a good performer. Um, and it sounds nice, but I don't think this is his main strength, honestly. I do get the impression that this album just needed a bit more polish. It just needed a bit more direction. Maybe it would have been very good. The problem is, because we've seen Lightspeed Champion and... You know, I kind of you kind of see what he is capable of doing. Now that being said, I haven't listened to any of Blood Orange's later albums, so they all could be excellent, and I, I haven't listened to them, and I will. I think I will do at some point. On this alone, I'm not sure. Like I would rate it that highly personally. I think the only time I've maybe played this is like in the background, but also, also as I said, maybe like driving on the long sort of hot summer day or something. But yeah, it's conflicting because I think, yeah, as a musician, he's excellent. And the performing is excellent, and the songwriting is excellent, but this album doesn't do it for me. Sorry, Dev. Anyway, thank you very much again for watching. Um, I really appreciate it. Have a good day. Take care. Tra-ra-tra.